Hello again folks, in this video I'm going to be adding a second uh, one terabyte M.2 drive to my Omen X2S laptop. Um, it's not the prime reason for doing this video, um, there are many videos showing you how to install M.2 drives into laptops and desktops. Um, I thought it would be beneficial to do this video for other owners of this particular laptop because it is not say extremely difficult to get into, it is reasonably simple to get into as long as you know how to do it um, and the only uh, way I managed to find out how to do it was by downloading the service manual which a lot of people might not know uh, to do. Uh, the only other video showing this laptop and taking the, the, the bottom cover off is ridiculous in my opinion. It literally uh, cuts to the video, uh, guy pointing at the screws and then he just lifts the cover off and that is definitely not the case. So without further ado, uh, let's crack on and get it installed. I'm just going to shut it down here. I was just making sure we had some power in it. In fact, let's just quickly look at um, this PC. And as you can see, if I bring it up there, I currently just have the one terabyte drive in there. Now you might say that two terabytes is excessive. Uh, this is going to be my primary uh, gaming PC, and um, you know some of the games these days. I think Red Dead Redemption Two is about 110 gigabytes. Um, GTA is about the same. Overwatch, uh, Satisfactory, all these sort of games. They're all around this, uh, you know. 80 to 100 gigabytes each so it's, it's not a lot of space uh, once you start installing games <coughs> excuse me now forgive me i'm putting a tea towel down do you call it a tea towel in the states and around the world i don't know uh, just because this is my workbench and there might be little bits i don't want the top to get scratched I, I've not done a review on this, I don't really intend to, but this is it, the Omen X2, very thin, it's about 20mm thick, got all the usual bells and whistles on it, uh, it's an i9-9880, RTX 280 Max-Q, 32GB uh, RAM, and let's uh, just get a 1TB uh, M.2, and hopefully it's shortly going to have two 1TB M.2s. Right, how do you get into it? Right, so the first part of the video that uh, exists on YouTube showing the remo removal of the bottom cover is entirely correct. You remove six screws using um, T6 bit. The two at the what is the front of the laptop, so that's the, the part of the laptop that would be closest to you as you were sitting using it, are shorter, and the four at the rear of the laptop are significantly longer. So just take care when you're reinstalling them, because you wouldn't want to put one of these long ones through the, the, the front, one, uh, front holes, because it will just wreck your laptop, it'll pop through the the um, keyboard area of the laptop which would not be nice so I'm just doing this in real time so you you know so that it is a realistic demonstration of how to do it Right, <clears throat> excuse me again. Once you've removed the six screws, you need to get a pry tool and look at this, the shame, a mobile phone uh, toolkit. There's only uh, pry tool I could find handy. And on a normal laptop, <clears throat> you would, well, in a normal laptop, you'd normally have a, a panel that you take a screw or a couple of screws out and the panel lifts off. Um, or it would be clearly detailed where to take it off, but you, it doesn't doesn't show you on this. 
it doesn't show you in the user manual it was by pure chance i stumbled across the service manual which you can download from hp direct doesn't it's not a dubious link or anything um, i don't know if i mentioned i will link it down below um, and it tells you exactly what to do um, it's just really disappointing that they advertise it as having a user accessible user user accessible um you know cover but don't actually show you how to do it now this is I don't know if it's aluminium or magnesium, um, but as you can see here, uh, there is no space to get a pry tool in. It's it's really quite tight, and it's held in by clips. In fact, I'm, I'm almost certain it's magnesium. I should say at this point, I have actually opened this uh, because I wanted to check whether the thermal pad uh, was in place uh, for the M.2. So, the way you open it is, you take your pry tool and you go in under the hinge okay now that maybe seems like a strange place to lever it but that is what it tells you in the service manual it says use the gap under the hinge once you've popped one uh, edge up then you just want to slide your pry tool in and as you can probably hear from my voice i am using fairly significant pressure to lever this off There we go. And I mean, that doesn't sound good at all, does it? But that's what it tells you to do. So once I've got that side up, I'm going to turn, over, turn our attention to this side. And you don't want to put too much force on here because this is where the network port is. But if you just gently lift it up, and then at this point, with the vents closest to you, just gently lift it up and sort of slide it back. And there you have your laptop uh, covered off. Now, as you can see, there is a thermal pad here. Take care with that. Don't get dust and stuff on it. So I'm just going to pull it to the side. In fact, I'll show you. Um, as you can see there, it is, uh, it's cast. It's very light. It's definitely metal. I think it probably is some sort of magnesium or magnesium alloy. <clears throat> Right, I've pre-positioned the screw. You will need to get um, a screw because it doesn't include one for whatever reason. You'd think that for the cost of a screw to install it in there, you'd think they'd just do it. But again, the shame, mobile phone screwdriver. And it is uh, an M, if I remember correctly, it's an M2 by two millimeter screw. There we go. So I'm just gonna pull it to one side. Got our uh, Gigabyte SSD here. Um, I used to use Gigabyte all the time. I've not used them recently. Um, but this was the cheapest terabyte with a reasonably good read-write speed. Uh, is at the NVMe. So it's I think it's two... Well, I'll just get the specs up. 2,500 megabytes a second uh, read and 2,100 megabytes a second write. Uh, this was the cheapest one I could get. I couldn't get it in the UK. I got it in the States via Amazon.co.uk. So it was from their global shipping store. It was delivered to me uh, probably quicker and cheaper all-in price than if I bought it in the UK anyway, which is, again, ridiculous. So we'll take it out. And to install it, all we're going to do is have it at a 45 degree angle just slide it in like so and then gently lower it down so that little sort of uh, castellation if you like um, sits on the lip of the the screw hole and we'll take our screwdriver and screw obviously And then tighten that down. Check. Yeah, that looks all good. <clears throat> um, for those that you're interested, it's a Western Digital Black uh, M.2 that's currently installed. So that's our two slots uh, filled up. I'll lift it up and you can have a look inside. Your memory, your big lithium iron battery there. Plenty of cooling on here. It's got that liquid metal cooling, which apparently is very good. So I'm told. Um, but it's quite a nice designed 
nicely designed laptop. It is quite heavy, I think it's about 2.3 kilograms, but you know, there's a lot packed into it, obviously. Now, this is, takes a bit of an act to put the top cover back on. Um, you have to, it's obviously the, the reverse of how we, we took it off, but if I just tip this up, you can see there is a, a gap here, and you have to sort of angle this to get it clipped in properly. There we go, I think that looks about right. And then it's a case of gently pressing the case back on. And just making sure that um, you know it's all, all flush which does take a little bit of a jiggery poker. There we go, that's us. Lovely job, okie dokes. And then all we need to do is replace the screws, remembering the short ones go to this side without the vent. And once we've got these in, we will boot it up and just make sure that Windows recognises it. And then I will get some games and other bits and pieces installed on it. I'm just going to do this real time. All right, 11 minutes just now. And you don't want to over tighten any of these screws, of course, just enough to, to nip it up. And the final two screws. Do, 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 do. Okay, quick check, just make sure everything's flush, looks good, all oh, looks good there, yeah, spot on. Alright, we're getting rid of this, so it aids ventilation, and we'll boot it up. Normally boots, uh, boots, boots quicker than that, but uh, I think it's probably just because Windows will be doing its thing, realise there's a new piece of hardware in there. So let's uh, go to this PC. And as you can see, it hasn't recognised it yet, so we'll give it a second and I'll get rid of that. So you don't want to see my <laughs> Discord servers, etc. Now I may need to configure this possibly in the BIOS if it's not going to detect it. What I'll do is I'll go to um, <coughs> computer management, I'll go to storage, hopefully you can see this on screen, um, disk management. Ah, hold on. You must initialise logical disk before you can access it. Uh, yeah, partition table. That's shown as unallocated disk space. Let's right click, new simple volume. Next, I don't want to partition it. Uh, give it the letter D. 
interface should be fine finished uh, thank you but I don't want to keep my memory safe I have backups and there we go 953 uh, gigabytes available available there or oh, one terabyte so there we go, um, reasonably long video for what it is, but like I say, it was predominantly to show you how to take the cover off uh, this laptop. It will be a fairly niche video, um, only people that have this laptop, of course, will find it useful. Um, but if anything, you've seen how to install an M.2 drive. So that was, yeah, the gigabyte, terabyte, or the terabyte, gigabyte <coughs> M.2 drive install. Um, hopefully you found this uh, useful or interesting. If you did, please uh, consider giving me the thumbs up or, and adding any comments you might have. If you thought it was a load of rubbish or irrelevant to you, give it a thumbs down. Um, and of course, if you haven't already subscribed and you'd like to consider doing so, please uh, click on the fat head down here to subscribe and ring that little bell for uh, notifications when I upload videos. Um, just be finally before I sign off, um, I might have an... <coughs> excuse me... Uh, a completely different um, series of videos coming up. I will put a community post up just to ask your uh, opinion on whether you'd like to see those videos. It is a mechanical one. It involves an oily, petroly engine. Um, so there we go. There's a little teaser for you. But yeah, thanks again for watching. Click on the fire if you haven't already done so. And uh, as always, take care of yourselves and all the best.